Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to the first Saturday webinar of 2016. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we have Jim channeling today, Jim and his gang. We got a gang here, and I'm going to let Sabrina tell you all about that. Welcome, everybody. Uh, Jim, we have a bit of feedback. Uh, on whose side? Your side. Your side. We have feedback from this side. What do we do? What mic are you Sorry, using? Sure I'm using the headset. the headset. But are you sure that that's the one that's configured? This is it. Find out. Yep. Is there still okay. feedback? Okay. Um, I think you're good. Let me see. I think you are good now. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I want to say. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to our Saturday webinar with Jim Charles today. There is feedback. Um, let me see. And I want to say I hope everybody has a great year full of good surprises for everyone and that you enjoy this journey up ahead and I want to say welcome to all the members that are here Angela, Bianca, Rudan, Noha, Roxanne, Sarah, Sheer, Valerie and of course we have a lot of people with Jim today so I will let Jim introduce them. Hello Jim Happy New Good Year. Good morning, everybody. It's good to be here and Happy New Year. And um, there's a lot of people here, but I'm going to let them, since I can't turn my head around like in The Exorcist, um, I'm going to let them uh, talk. I I'd tell you their own names here. I'll start with Brian here. I am Brian. Wonderful day, everyone. Happy New Year. And then. Andy back here. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Bailey here. Red Saint. Uh, Mark. Hey, hey, Raymond here. <laughs> Will. Hello. The other Mark. <laughs> How about Happy New Year? Barbara. Okay. I think that's 10 or 11 that we have here. So it's a nice big crew that we have at my house today. This is the first one I've had at my house for a long time, and we have a full house today, so that's nice. So um, I just wanted to ask everybody if they had any, um, someone that they want me to channel, or someone that they, they want me to bring through for them today. Um, yeah, they'll boy. make up their mind who they, where they are, what they're going to do. But um, uh, go ahead and give me some suggestions. Well, several people requested to cur. To cur, okay. So. This, um. Yes. Mother Mary. Mother Mary. Somebody requested Mother Mary. Oh Jesus. my God. <laughs> Buddha. Um, Jesus. Salusa. Buddha. I like to request Preston. Buddha. Preston. Jesus. Buddha. Yes. And now second Mother Mary. <laughs> Again. Twice. Can you hear me? Okay. Who had, Who was that? My brother Nivi requested Yitzhak Rabin. It was one of Israel's prime ministers. He brought a lot of peace to the oh. region. Okay. J Jesus, please. Okay. Jesus. Yes. I would like to request future Jim Charles. To oh, to <laughs> a future me. Can you imagine what that would be like? Um, <laughs> maybe Orson Welles will look like. But anyway. <laughs> But anyway, uh, anybody else, and then I'll just uh, we'll take a few minutes, and I'll do a meditation, and we'll uh, bring whoever is here through. I'm sure Takur wants to speak today for at least a couple minutes. There must be some questions out there, but um, other than that, I have no idea who's coming. What about Sekhmet? Who? Sekhmet. Oh, who is that? It's an Egyptian, I believe, Lyran. Goddess. Uh, I didn't hear who Sekhmet was. 
Um, she was in our history in Egypt, but I believe she's Lyran. Oh, okay. Very good. Excellent. Uh, let's see who comes, and I do have no idea, really. So um, I will do a meditation, and everybody have a wonderful session. Have a wonderful day, and may this, I just want to say I want this year to bring a lot of health and happiness and enlightenment to all of you. I think it's going to be a very important year. I think it's going to be a very challenging year, but in a very good way. So um, much love to you all, and feel the energies that are uh, moving. They're in a, doing fantastically in changing some of the thought processes of those that don't believe in very much, if you know what I'm saying. So um, it's a wonderful day, and let's move forward. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you, Jim. You're welcome. I am Takur. Welcome to. Greetings to all of you. I have a small thing that I want to say to all of you, and that is I know that some of you have become discouraged about the holographic and things of this nature, being able to remember the things from the human colonies. Please be patient. It is coming. It cannot be denied to you forever. And so it is a test of your patience. It is a test of who you are as the people of Earth. The time must not have been ready for you to do this. Otherwise, it would have happened. Now, I want to say to you as well, keep your faith in many things that are not happening for you at the moment. The world is a strange place. All the different dimensions have their own time and place for revelations and for being what they are in their fullest. You are not yet at your fullest, and so therefore you must wait and be patient. I love you very much, and I am working with each of you individually as I come to you and speak to you from day to day. But as it comes now, we are not sure exactly what has happened with the holographic. And it is something that is perhaps sabotage, but we have not been able to confirm that, so we will not call it that. Others have done so, and we cannot stop them from doing so, but at this point, it is just a matter of God's will, in our opinion, that he, it is not what is to be happening at this moment. We will still try to bring you into the colonies and help you remember as much as possible. This is something that we will always continue to do, and at the right time it will happen. So we are working diligently to keep our communications open and to keep the lines of love and power and energy keep flowing. And therefore... I say to you, be patient with us. Do not lose hope. We are on your side. We want you to have the benefits of all these things, and you will have them. We just do not know when. Is there questions? Um, uh, Noha? Yes, please. Hello, Tukur. Happy New Year. Thank you. So much love to you and everybody around you. Thank you very uh, much. First of all, I have an inquiry about my system. It keeps on shutting down every time I'm on a hangout like you. It doesn't take much time and then it shuts down. What's going on? The same thing that's going on with many systems around the Earth. A, the Earth 
energies are changing and still are disruptive. We thought that they would have been calm by now. However, there are still large pockets of disturbances in the Earth energy at this time. B, some governments do have some listening devices put into the your atmosphere, should I say, and they are shutting things down if the things become too personal. Now, other things that are happening is that there are some people that are willing that our systems fail, but this will not happen on a great amount because we will definitely keep them running. Please, I need your help. Thank you. Uh, the second question, please. I keep on sleeping a lot, so I assume I'm gone. I'm gone to the colonies. Could you confirm that to me? Because when it, every time I wake up, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so relieved. Yes, you that. are going to the colonies. You're doing some teaching as well. Wow. So it is. It is. But we will not tell you what you're teaching quite yet. Oh. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I need to you know. Are, really. You, it is fine. You are doing very well. Yeah, the channel part. I need, I need a boost. Please keep on boosting me, please. We are boosting you as much as possible. Thank you. Well appreciated. Thank you. Love you. Take care. Normal stay. Sheer. How are you? I am very well, thank you. How are you, Sheer? I am very well. I have a couple of quick uh, questions. One, how is my Fendorion infusion is going? Finished. The entire 8% or 10? Yes, the 8 is finished, but the 10 is not. Is it going to be 10? Yes. Ah, okay. Was it finished like two days ago? I, I thought it was... Yes, a couple of days ago it was at 8, but they have to check you out first before they go to 10. Okay. Uh, hopefully it will go to 10 because I feel great. And secondly, I want to ask about the new colonies that you want to be in on era. Is it going well? So far we are doing well. We have made, made many improvements to the colonies 1, 2, and 4. And the reason for this is we needed some more room for more people. These are the most used colonies. These are the colonies that we need uh, surplus room, so we have made them much easier to live with and much easier to learn with as well. So many improvements have been made on these colonies. I see. And do I go often to the colonies now? Or you told me something we'll about... We'll go more often in 2016. We did have some problems with the holographic and therefore slowed down some of the people coming, but it will be reinforced in the future. Okay. More people will be coming again. Okay, thank you very much and much love. And hopefully I will see you again. Much yeah. love to you as well. Dan? Hello, Takur. Hello, hello. Dan. Hello. Oh, I have some member member questions here just very quickly. Um, the first one from our friend Christine. She wants to know if she's been to Colony 2, like she's been thinking. Yes, she has been to 1 and 2. Colony 2 because there are some uh, benefits to dietary supplements in her life. And she is learning about different ways to take in vitamins that will help her health. Okay. We have a member, their name is All About Life. Uh, she would like to know if there's any updates for her and maybe an outlook for 2016 for her energy. 2016 will be very interesting for everyone on the earth, but for the human colony members it will be especially interesting. There is a lot of energy that has been released by the Earth. The Earth is uh, going through a, a certain period. You might call it a metapausal period. 
okay. because she is demonstrating more of her masculine energy and changing in many ways and becoming a different sort of um, connection to her people. Okay. Also, at the end of the 2016 period, late in the fall, or somewhere in the fall, there should be some very exciting things happening for many people around the Earth. Also, in 2016, um, there will be more knowledge shared and understood, of course. It is only, go it is only logical that we would continue to move forward. Buddha will be coming soon in the future as well. I heard someone mention them, Buddha, and Buddha is ready to come, but not today. Okay. We have a couple of questions from uh, member uh, Yasmina. She wants to know what is the cause for her back, neck, and shoulder pain? And then she also wants to know what some of the opportunities uh, for her for a new job uh, soon. These are very personal questions. However, I will say the back, neck, back and neck pain are due to some emotional stress and emotional uh, attachments to her. There is also something that she needs to deal with in her life that will expose the the pain. Okay. Also, with a, the thoughts of a new career or job or a new opening of some sort, that will happen in 2016 for many people. Okay. And that's all I have for member questions at the moment. Um, I'm hoping that we are still on for uh, a chat tomorrow. Yes. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Dakar. Sarah. Hello, Dakar. Hello, uh, Sarah. Much love. Uh, much I love to you as well. Yeah. Um, I have a question about the children on the colonies. How are they all doing? The children of the colony, and what is the question? Um, well, how is their education coming along? Um, the educational system on ERA is very distinct and proportioned to each child. Many aptitude tests are given at very early ages and different portions or different times in their young life so that they will know or so that their teachers will know where their capabilities are greatest. Then they are given initial courses that are built around these great initiatives. Then the, after these first few courses, they get to choose for themselves where next they want to go in their education. This is very important because it will be a sign of who that they will be in the future. We have discovered that with this kind of education, which is working very well, we have trained up many very important people and it is to say that some of them will be working with the earth very soon. Thank you for that. And also, you are welcome. I, I wanted to understand, um, are we feeling energies of people on the earth a bit, a bit more because I'm finding that I'm becoming more emotional to my surroundings. I, it's heavy. You are feeling the changes of the earth for sure. You know that Mother Earth is causing connections and disconnections all over the earth. Some people now are feeling more disconnected from the earth than they did before. And others are feeling more connected because of the different energies that are being expressed on different parts of the earth. Now you are feeling a heavier nature, not only due to the changes of the earth, but there are some situations around you that are that you are accepting the heaviness and negativity from. Now you must free yourself from that. You know of which I speak, do you not? Yes, I do. Thank you. And I would I would suggest 
that you try to free yourself from that. Because if you want to help this person, you must clear yourself first. Yeah. So therefore, clarity for yourself is best at this time. Find a way to send the energy back to Mother Earth. Know that she is willing to take that negative energy and re re evaluate it into a positive energy, reprocess it into a positive energy, and therefore let it go out through your hands, let it go out through your toning, let it go out through your heart chakra. Let the things that you express come out and go to Mother Earth. I see also that there are other people in your life that are trying to trap you into certain things and that your freedom is more important at this time. You must help others and without your own freedom to help them, you cannot. If you listen and obey others that know not what your cause and purposes are, then you must, then you will not find the, your future as easily. Do you understand what I am saying? I understand what you are saying. Um, I believe I do. So, very, very are, you, well. are you saying it's best to just sit put now? Just stay still. At this time, it is best to clarify yourself. It is best to go on your own thought processes. Someone else is trying to influence your thought processes. But you have a thought process that needs to be encouraged and move forward. They are not supporting this completely. I understand. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you. Love you. Continue. Does anyone uh, in the room with Jim have any questions? Has there been, yes, to Kurtz, Helga, have there been any meetings with the um, leaders and un, from the countries lately, and if there has been an update? There is one coming up shortly. There has been too many things going on with your countries and governments to have a meeting so shortly from the one that we had before. But they promised that within the month of February, they we would get together with them and uh, re-evaluate the different things that are happening between us. Thank you. What are some of the things on the agenda to discuss? We, we were approved for the holographic. It is not working. Therefore, we are going to step forward and try again with the site to site. One thing, that is one thing that we are going to try to do. Because there can be ways it can be done successfully and very privately. And so they need not worry about problems with uh, others finding out necessarily. We will discuss this with them. We will also discuss their attitudes toward first contact. <laughs> Do they have conscious memory, Putin and Obama? And of course. So they know as they are living their human life that they're doing this. Yes. In fact, there are some leaders that are claiming that they will have disclosure come soon because they feel it is important. They are starting to realize that we are not against them but for them and that it will not hurt them, but perhaps help them. Because if they keep this secret too much longer, the people of the earth will not trust them. Many people are becoming aware that there are other species around the earth. They are seeing saucers, or ships, or whatever, or orbs, and they know that we exist. And for the governments to keep this silent for too much longer will be working against them and not for them. Thank you. And as Russia and China seem to be allying together, and the United States kind of on the west, and they got the east, while they're there, there's more of a coordination and more working together than we are knowing here on Earth? Yes. 
There is much that the governments keep from you that they do not tell you anything about. That we actually tell you some things about, but are not supposed to really go into detail, which we do not. However, the different landing sites for ships are already being built by your governments. These are to move government officials and alien officials from one point to another on the Earth's surface. There are landing areas underneath the Earth that you can get to from the ocean openings. These stations are built hundreds of miles inland and when the ship comes down into the ocean finds the tunnel and moves into that and comes up into an underground station. Many of these are being built at this time so that aliens and humans can move across the planet without being seen. There's one that's particularly uh, not talked about, it's not in the news, it's, it's considered a vortex perhaps, but there's one major one, am I correct? There's one major one, but there are many, many that are in progress. And where's this major one, please? I am not allowed to say that. Okay, thank you. That would be a sign of inappropriate government intelligence released. I could not do it. It's great information. The information that I'm giving to you is also well known among some of the people on your human colony. There will be those of you in human colony that will be driving the ships that will be taking these people from one point to another on the planet. They already know who they are. Is there an underground base near here, near Rochester? There is an underground base near Rochester. Is that the question? I could say yes. It is not where you think it is, but it is close by. Any other questions? Valerie. Hello, Tucker. Yes. This is Valerie. And Valerie. I Valerie. have been doing a lot of uh, soul searching and looking at different artifacts and things like that. And I yes. found my soul has just really been stirred. Um, I believe that. Uh, Falling in love with life again is yes. what's been happening. <laughs> it is a wonderful thing. And you will continue to become more grounded and more attached to the earth. You are finding that the earth has many things to offer you. As well as aliens. Yes, that, that doesn't bother me at all. I um, would like to know if I've been having any uh, time in the crystal room or colonies. Yes, you, your, your time in the crystal room was with the green elements and crystals and green stones. These are the ones that are opening up your heart and your, your thought processes toward uh, re-evaluating a life process. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Much love. Much love to you. Bianca. Hello, Tucker. This is Bianca. Bianca, welcome. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask about uh, my infusions. I wanted to see if I can receive another one, please. Of course. They will evaluate that after the one that you are doing is finished. Oh, okay, I thought it was completed already and activated. I have, do not have that information in front of me right now, so it may be completed. Oh, okay. There are hundreds of, hundreds of infusions going on all over the Earth, and also DNA um, and 
hybrid children. It is a, a glorious time for uh, hybrid hybridization and hybrid children at this time. We are finding that the that the world is very open toward this and becoming more open all the time. I yes, think, and we. I think uh, the answer to her question was yes. A hybridization program will be added to her. We know that she is requesting a particular one, but I do not know what that is at the moment. It is not in front of me. Okay, thank you, Tucker. Uh, Dan. Hello again, Tucker. Have some more member questions. Very well. A short one from uh, Maya. Octarine, she says hello. She'd like to know about her DNA infusions. Uh, member Maha Octarine. Maha Octarine. I will have to get that information from Tepa, because the information for the infusions is not in front of me. Okay. I do know about some people because we monitor certain people greater in greater. Proximity, should I say, because they have so many within them, we must make sure that they are all used properly. So we keep them at close range and check on them often. However, there are hundreds of people getting infusions. Her infusion is in progress at this time. Okay. We have a question from uh, Barbara, Barbara Joy. Uh, yes to ask if uh, she's been to the colonies and if so which one and when she so she's being unclear about the uh, the memory of being there colony one and for telepathy and there is a language that has been downloaded to her it's not opened up yet I don't think I'm not sure okay we have a question from uh, Nabila Gomes um, are there any messages for her just a quick um, for Nabila. Yes, be, be aware, Nabila. It has hit me whenever they said your name that there are changes coming in your life that are will be positive. At this point, there are some things still working. You are still working through some energies and thought processes, but things will change soon. Okay. Uh, from member Wendy, our, our friend Wendy. She says she sends her love to you and the children and the hybrid yeah. parents. And is there anything that they need at this time? They just need um, more people like yourself to, to be aware that they are there and to help them out whenever possible. Okay. They are very happy when the humans come. The humans have been very kind, and there is a certain density when humans come to visit, even in the astral form, that makes them very happy. They feel the energies of the earth, and um, many of them are interested in visiting. Okay. Continue. Um, she has. Uh, she wants to know. Also, Wendy wants to know if her DNA infusion requests have been granted, and if so, which ones, and what are their status. And then she has a side thing here of a very large yellow orb visit in a photograph she did a couple weeks ago, and she's wondering if you could tell her anything about the yellow orb. We will speak to her about her infusions later. I do not have that information right with me. However, I do see that the yellow orb is representative of a more high species than we are able to talk about right now. The thing is, that is the LEI. They do have ships, but they do move more through portals. But we are learning more about them as time goes on. Okay. I have a question from member uh, John Lee, and she's new to the group, and she's wondering what her role within human colonies might be, and are there any messages for, for her? Well, you have free will to choose how you would like to help the colony, but just being here is an energy boost. 
all the energies from everyone that is in the colony combines together with all the entire world of the, and the universe. However, to be aware that you are part of a colony that has exceptional power will boost you in your own power. Your thought processes should be much clearer and you should be finding yourself wanting to communicate more. This is something I see for you, a communication position somewhere. Wonderful. This will be my last question from the members at this time. It's from uh, Jugger Tron. He says, uh, hello to Kerr. He, said, uh, he, he just had a merging with another person or energy, a dream within the hour. He wants to know if you can clarify if it's pertained to a newly requested DNA infusion or a new career opportunity or, or uh, whatever information you can give him. He says his name is Jason. There, it, is. It, it could be many things. The thing is that I'm feeling from him is that or her, I'm not sure if it's a, a male or a female, but I do feel the energy is very intense right now. And this particular uh, bringing together is for creative purposes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Tucker. That's all I have for right now. I'll go back with Sabrina here. Hello, Tucker. Yes. <clears throat> I have a question from Liney. Yes. And she she said she has a friend. His name is uh, John Relton, and he does yeah. photography. He said his pictures have a rainbow effect on them. He wants he wants I guess um, Gurpreneer to to visit him also. Um, this is possible. He says he's interested in the way light is captured on his photographs and on the planet. Dealing with a, a limited light spectrum, which the Earth deals with in third dimension, he, he is wanting to expand that spectrum, and we can perhaps help him with that. Okay. Um, and I wanted to ask you about... Um, the floodings and a few of the things that have gone on, uh, particularly in South America, uh, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, Brazil. Uh, can you there speak a little many, bit about that? Many catastrophes on weather watches, tornadoes and things of that nature, flooding. Much, much is happening around the world. And these are energies of the Earth, energies from the center of the galaxy, and so many other energies are involved with this. Also, your planet has a natural lifespan and a natural movement of its own uh, biology, physiology, if you will, and it is affecting many things. So we are just trying to keep all these different energies in check. And as you know, Mother Earth's energies have changed a great deal, and also there has been energies from the center of the galaxy that have affected you as well. No, Many things are happening, and so we are trying just to keep as much safety for most people as possible. But now it has come to a time where the energies are even getting greater, and so therefore not everything can be controlled the way that we would like to. We fear for the the coastal areas of South America and the United States on the west side due to much um, tectonic plate movement. We're trying to keep it at a minimum. Now, Tucker, is, isn't there a way that you could help the governments to figure out how to predict um, the earthquake so they could take care of things themselves? Yes. They are moving in that way. We are just helping with the weather, the seismic, and the tectonic. But we cannot give them a, more information than the, they can possibly understand. However, at this time, there have been great breakthroughs with your earth sciences about these things and about the way that things work 
with the energies of the universe and the atmosphere. And this will be revealed very shortly. Okay, now are these things things that are meant to happen for a reason or is it um, just the energy? It happens for a reason, but we, we do not always know the reason. The thing is, this information that is coming out soon will be for the whole world to understand how they fit into the natural elements of the earth and understand their placement better. Okay, thank you. Um, you know? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Eltekar. How are you? I'm I'm well. Hope you are too. Um, I am well. Very good. I have many questions, but I will try to make it as fast as possible. Um, I already wrote an email, um, but I'm not sure if something happened. Um, I was wondering if it's possible if you could help me to need less sleep, or that the body just can regenerate faster, or something of that. There nature. are ways to do this. Yes. However. Humanity is not at the place for that kind of regeneration yet, but we can help you in other ways. Um, it would have to be a process that we would work with you. Okay. Um, okay, so, all right. Um, so it's because of my neighbors. Uh, you know the situation with my neighbors, right? Yes, I do. Um, do you have any suggestion or something? Because I would love to just move out without having to deal with them. Well, the, prob the problem is they all have free will. And they choose to be loud and noisy and disrespectful. However, that is their choice. You can choose to find a way out of there. We will help you with this. So, um... I would like to just peacefully, just not having to deal with them at all. It because is. Otherwise, it could be very dangerous. Yes, you are dealing with them in a very light way, I understand. So. You are hardly dealing with them at all, actually. That's what I'm saying. Yes, yes. Um, should, I, should I go harder or should I just completely. It will, not, it will not matter. Their free will is that this is their life and this is how they're going to live it. Nobody's going to change them. They must change themselves. And therefore, you are in the middle of their lives which they choose to live. Now, you may not have them choose to live it that way, but they have free will and they will do what they please. Now, we can work with you so that you can not regard them as much. We can work with you so that you can get um, to a point where some of their energies can be changed into a positive way for you because it, it has to do with how you are seeing this situation. Yes. You may see it in one way, but we can change it for you to see it in a different way. Yes, please. That would be wonderful. Um, my, my, my point is I wanted to go to the owner of the house and talk to them, um, but I fear that this could be dangerous, that they could completely go mad and, um, yeah, well. I do not see that that would happen, but I do see that they would be afraid to lose their residence and so okay. that they would have to obey the owner if they choose that. Okay. However, if the owner does not care, then that could be a problem as well. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. And they will think that they can now be even worse. That's what I mean. Okay, okay, I'll figure it out. Um, can you tell me something about a job situation? Um, something that's is coming not, up. There is there is work for you, but it is not in the area that you are in. 
There is nothing in that area. We will just we will talk about this at another time. Okay. I will give you a a little session sometime later. Oh well, I cannot afford that. That's that's fine. It would be free because it is my suggestion and not Jim's. Okay, but you but need I it at this good. time. Oh, okay. Should I ask him, or will he just write to me? No, send a send a note. Okay. Um, um, I should be. Okay, thank you. One more thing. One. <laughs> Continue. One last thing. Yesterday, I was um, I was praying and I was sending them love and uh, gratitude um, and things like that. And when I mentioned one of the neighbors, I completely got dizzy it was like a hit and I moved suddenly to the left like I was falling did something happen <laughs> yes something did happen you connected with their energy very strongly and it, it was able to manipulate you in some way but you were able to survive it and it, it is not harmful but it is is it good that I did it because I was it actually was spending the love. They connected with your energy as well. They felt some of your energy, you felt some of theirs, and it was an exchange. This could be a very good thing. Okay, but I don't want to connect your to them. Your were to send love to them, to send goodness and send peace, it could be a very good thing. Okay, but basically speaking, you should not you should not uh, send anything or think about them, right? Because otherwise, you connect to them and they. It does not matter if your intention is to send love. Connection is not a bad thing. But they hit me. That was that I was I almost fell, and I I really have um, like my my mind is my my memory is getting bad and everything. So no, that's fine. It's okay. We will discuss that later. I'll figure it out. Okay. Okay, thank you for everything. Happy New You're Year. You're welcome. Johannes? Hey, Tikur. Yes. Much love. Uh, I had Much a question. Um, I had a dream about this bear chasing me, the black bear, one week ago. I just want to see if I interpreted that dream well, or because it came with with a message, and, and I I just want to see. What was the message you received? Uh, the message that I received was that I should should begin start um, dancing, uh, move, train, uh, get moving with some stuff get moving with some stuff and that comes with the aesthetic of my of myself I think the dance maybe yoga yes something. that is one that is a good interpretation for that portion also that if you need to start this not that you just should but it is a necessity for you to start this now because there is something chasing you if you do not start it now and do not get into that, it may catch you. And that is that you may fall into a disease or something of that nature. But if you do do the work, you will find the benefits of it and will outrun this, whatever it is that's chasing. Yeah, that's what I feel. Okay, thank you. You're um, welcome. I've had a, a tickling sensation the last two weeks in the back of my head. Very, very intense. I, I like it. I like it very much. I just want to know what that is. It is directly behind the third eye at the back of the head. Yeah, I would say so, maybe. That is the God Chakra. It is where spirituality is starting to awaken things in, in the brain. Okay. Uh, and just quickly about the... 
infusions that I had. I had Liran and Fendorian infusion, I, I guess. They were fine, and they are complete. Nice. And can I get a download of a language? Like, I want to speak Liran, so if I could get that, ask for that. That will be someone else's decision. I do not decide on those things. Okay, but I'm, I'm yes, I will put that request in for you. you know, what was that? No, I'm 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 just requesting it. So thank you very much. Ah. If there's any other messages, yeah, you done it. Get thank you. Very well. The request has been put in. Ten. Hello again, Kerr. Just a couple of uh, quick things here. A couple more questions. Uh, one from member Emma. She wants to know about her galactic origin and her language. So this is member Emma. I would have to hear the language, but I would think that her origin is somewhere in the Syrian area, Sirius area. Okay. Um, oh, I guess maybe a couple here. Uh, one from Chris wants to know about his progress in the colonies. This is Chris uh, Woodruff. Wants to know about his progress in the colonies and any advice for which healing techniques he might pursue. That is a loaded question, as you would call it, because there are many things that he can do to expand his healing abilities. And he is doing very well in the colonies, especially in Colony 4, where he is learning channeling openings. He's learning to open his channels. Um, but his healing abilities are strong. And he, there are many avenues he can research to go forward. We will be having Galactic Reiki this month at some time. Perhaps yeah. he would like to look into that. That's wonderful. Um, just two more, please. Uh, one is from new member Carol Lucy Lorty. She says, hi, I'm new here. Can you help me remove or recognize this entity around me since my birth that has blocked me from moving forward in my life? She says she's a... F yes, we can. She's from, okay. And wants to know if you have any messages for her. Uh, also, she says she's worried about the Canadian government in doing things and those kind of unfolding things. Um, wants to know the what governments you can tell are her. doing. I, yeah, I'm sorry. The governments are doing very interesting things right at the moment because they are they see that the way that things are going at this time are not going to work out properly, and so therefore they are making some radical changes and some simple changes at first, which will turn out to be radical changes. But they they see that the the outcome of what they are doing at this time is not going to be effective to the point where they want it to be. Now, what was the other part of the question? Uh, let me get back to it here real quick. Um, do you see Quebec succeeding, succeeding in becoming an independent province, or what do you see not for uh, Quebec? All right. They would... It would be very unfortunate if they did that because they would lose a lot of support and power. Uh, they, I see why they want to because the language barriers and they feel like they are of an independent a state within a state. However, the support they get from the rest of the country would be lost and it would be a, a far cry from them to be able to support themselves in many ways. They are not the largest area of of tourism in the country and they are not the largest industrial area either and so therefore they should not even consider it. Okay. Our, our friend Sabrina here would like to know if she can get a vitamin infusion to help her with her, uh, her flu. We will speak about that on Monday. Okay. And our friend Alex, Alex Moon, wants to know about the being who is constantly touching her right thigh in very strong energy and she doesn't know who it is and then she'd like to know um, if there's a message in general on her work at the colony uh, with you. I am surprised that she does not recognize the touch. 
Can you it tell is her? Cal trying to re-establish himself with her, but uh, at this time, it is not possible. However, her work on the colonies is doing well. Also, I would like to tell her that there are many things coming up for her to do. Okay. Awesome. But do not do not have her worry about the alien that's touching her. It may seem very different than the old Cal that she used to know, but it is Cal. Okay, wonderful. Um, that's all I have for right now. And I must go anyway. Yeah, let me pass over to Sabrina real quick. Thank you. Thank you so much, Takur. You're welcome. Thank you, Takur. Um, thank you for coming and answering everybody's questions. Uh, if you would like to do a blessing before you leave. One moment. I would like to welcome you all into the new energies of the Earth and the universe. There are so many that are here. Accept them and embrace them. That is the only way that they can be used, is if you become part and one with them. Find yourself a place to become one, an area where your meditations are solid and deep. This is a new era for the world that you live in. For the third dimension is changing in some ways. Many things will be brought to you in these next few years. Things of amazing and miraculous thought processes. Accept them and be part of them. For they are part of who you are in the future. My love is for you always and my trust in you I give please return these favors they are greater than favors they are necessities for us to grow together as neighbors as friends and as allies against those things that may not be of good consequence may the Spirit of God in all his aspects and perspectives, be with you. I know that you look at him and see differently, but he is here. Much love to you and namaste. Namaste. Uwaka. I am going now. Be well. Be and well. Enjoy Thank the you new to energies. There are many aspects of me in the universe, but I am here with you today because it is necessary for me to talk to you about the things to come. I am Mary. Welcome, Mary. Some of you have very bright scenarios, some large dreams, and some beautiful thought processes. But don't get lost in these. Reality is all around you, and you must learn which parts of it to accept and which parts not to. And if you are in the dream state, you will accept it all in a different way than you are supposed to. Does this make sense to you? 
Are you sure? I want to I, I want to be very clear about this, and I'm not sure that it will be. There are energies on the earth now that were never there before. There are good things and bad things that were never there before. Now, I do not like these words, good and bad, because they, they are spiritually energized. And I do not want them to be spiritually energized. I just want them to be matter of fact. Let's say negative and positive. But you must be aware of the world that you are living in as to be able to accept the things that you know to be part of who you should be and reject those things coming in as stimuluses that are not who you are or not things that are good for the world. Is that a little clearer? Yes. I would like you to ask me some questions about your personal lives in the sense that it will help everyone else. Because I think many of the things that are happening to you are happening to many. And I would like to explain them to you. Thank you. And I will ask a, a general question. Um, so many of us are going through many challenges at the moment. Yes. And it's, it's, it's difficult to always stay connected to self. So um, if you could speak a little bit about that and how to yes. maintain your connection. You see, the self is, you nourish yourself. And you are nourished by good information. But if you leave in all kinds of information to be part of who you are, then you are nourishing also things that are not part of you. Be clear on who you are. Be clear on the reasons that you are there. If you do not have any specific reason to exist that you know of, Exist out of love. Exist in the sense of spirit and of the things to come to you. But many of you are bringing in outside forces, thoughts that other people are giving to you that are not your own and that you should not accept as your own because they only tend to bring you a heaviness, a burden, or to change your thought processes away from the positivity, away from those things that would have you move forward. Now, this inner pattern of joy that you should be bringing to yourself, where does it come from? It comes from the belief that you are on the right path that you are doing the right things. And those things that you are doing are edifying the being that is you. Can I say that in a different way, perhaps? You are looking for the light that is within you. You are looking to brighten it, not to cover it with the things that, should, that would cause it to be less bright. Now, there are some things that can come in and you can utilize and become brighter, but you do not because the world tells you that that cannot be utilized in a good way. But yet, your heart, soul, and spirit, mind, whatever, knows that it can be utilized in a positive way, but yet you listen to the world instead. You understand that. Utilize it if you can. Use it as fuel for the fire of the soul. I may be speaking above some of your heads because you're not aware of how the spirit works. But the spirit works within you. If you are in con contact with who you are, then you know what the spirit is doing. Does that make sense? 
Anyone? Yes. Yes. Ask questions now because I know that I did not explain it quite clearly enough. Hello, Mother Mary. This is Sarah. Yes. I had a good uh, session with Alma Talk last week with Tim. Yes. Talk about letting go of the belief systems of others and the limitations of the belief systems of others. Is that That's another correct. way of saying what you're saying? Absolutely, yes. Your belief system and who you are is very important. Now, if you take on the belief systems of others, is that being true to yourself? It may be if you relate to it in a way that is who you are. But if it does not relate to who you are in your soul, then you should not take it on. There are portions of all kinds of belief systems that are very positive, and there are portions of all kinds of belief systems that are not so much. Therefore, find that which is building your beauty and your love and your understanding and your connections to good things. Those are the things you should be dwelling on. Is that, did that clarify anything? I am here. I, and I do not relate well sometimes to this density at this time. And let me tell you why. There are so many changes happening and so many things going on here that I sometimes become scattered amongst the energies. And of finding the good for portions of the energies and releasing the negative parts of the energies. And so as I am here with you, I am doing just as I am telling you to do. I'm filtering through the energies and finding what is good and finding what is myself and finding what is edifying to myself. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And therefore, as I speak it, it is brand new information the way that I speak it, not that it is brand new information to the world. But the way that I am speaking it is brand new to me right now because I am filtering it through your planet's energy and through your planet's density. More questions, please. Yes. I have a yes. Mary, so beautiful to share this beautiful light with us at this time. I am so grateful and honored. Thank you. I've had a experience in the physical with accepting pain, yes. accepting this physical pain and welcoming physical pain yes. into my being. Yes. So I can experience the physical pain and allow that feeling to be felt within the physical pain. Exactly. We were just left with a beautiful message from Takur about deep meditation and going into the oneness and in that sacred space, I have found it very beneficial to allow this acceptance of having physical pain. Yes. My question is more of a sharing or uncovering that I have found a lot of love for physical life, a lot of love for water, a lot of love for earth, yes. a lot of love for the beautiful beings and light beings that are all over this planet at this time, yet I would curse my own physical pain. I would be disgruntled for how much energy, how much life force I was bringing ease at specific moments. So I was yes. in vibrational, let's say, gratitude of love, that frequency of feelings. Yet sometimes when this physical pain would bring me so much in the three, it would be not of love, my feelings, not of love, my consciousness, and therefore not accept. Exactly. And this acceptance has allowed a massive release, a massive let go of simply acknowledging, simply recognizing that I am in the physical and that I have these feelings. And accepting these has allowed the openness and the flow of less physical yes. pain. Exactly. Let me continue with that, that it was beautifully stated. 
He has embraced all that he is. Am I correct in saying that? He has embraced all, even his human physicalities and pains. He's embraced all that is truly part of his world. And now, since he has done that, he is able to distinguish between those things that are necessary and those things that are not. Is that correct? and to be able to find meaning in the things of those things he has embraced because they are part of his physical world as well as affecting his spiritual world. Does that make sense to you? It is beautiful that we should all embrace our pain, our love, our anything positive or negative, embrace it and find out exactly what it is before you let it go. Or before it can be let go. You see, sometimes we must accept our pain before we can release our pain. Is that correct? So therefore, when you have physical problems, accept them because they may be grounded in the spiritual, the emotional, or possibly contractual. But in order for you to get through anything in a successful way, you must accept it. You cannot deny that you have pain or you cannot fight pain until you accept it. Does that make sense to you? So therefore, your mental pain must be accepted as well. Your physical pain, your spiritual pain, accept it. However, that does not mean that you have to keep it. But it does mean you have to identify what it is and why it is there. And sometimes that's not easy. It's not easy to identify why something is with you sometimes. But once you accept it, that it's there, then you can start to deal with it in a way that is more positive. Does that make sense to you? Yes. How do you identify why it's there? First of all, when you are accepting it, you are identifying yourself as being part of it. Now, as you accept something, a person, a thing, a pain, a thought process, as you accept it, it becomes more aware, you become more aware of it. And therefore, it can actually lead you to uh, something else. Your your pains may be based other than pain. They could be based in emotion. They could be based in contract. They could be based in other things. But as you become aware of what it is, then you can actually start doing meditations on why it is there. Um, hello. This is Sarah. I have a question. Is I can hardly hear you, dear. Yes. Once you accept that something is there, and you know why, why are we still living it? You've accepted it. Why are you still living you know why? it? Why are you why still are we, accepting it? How is it? Why is it still yeah. there in your reality? I understand. So you said you've accepted it and you know why it's there. However, you cannot release it. Yeah. Is it because it's all around you all the time? Yes. Yeah. Is it because there is acceptance in the point that this is what it should be? Or is it a, the acceptance that it should be right now? Is this the way that you think that it should be? No, not at all. 
then there is a way to release it then. And let me tell you how. Understand what the reasons are and how the reasons are and where it all comes from. But is it you? Is it a part of who you are? Is it it's a part of who you are? Your, no. Yes. And it, why is it affecting you so strongly? You have made it part of who you are. That's not what I want anymore. Because the pain, let me tell you something. When you feel the pain that strong, you have accepted it. Oh, and that's fine. Acceptance is good, that you know that it's there and why it's there. However, now, if you know that it is not part of who you should be, who is it that you should be? That is what you should now accept in its place. Because you've already realized that that portion is not who you are. Who are you? What is to replace this feeling? Do you know what feeling is to replace this feeling? If you're saying love, love is already there. Yes. What else can there be? There can be the removal of the pain. We will... There is a very, very long... We could speak about this for a long time because I see what has happened with you. It is part of you. You want to release it, but you feel so strongly about certain parts of it that it cannot go away. It, you are very, very attached to it. And that is, that is the problem at this point. And that is all right. Experience that attachment, but... Do not make it who you are in your everyday life because that is not who you are in your everyday life. That is not who you want to be. You want to be the person that is truly you. And this has come to you and it is not truly you. It is actually someone else, isn't it? Yes, it is. And so you love this person dearly. And therefore, they are part of you. And in this case, when you love someone that dearly, you take their pain upon them, upon yourself, so that they won't have to feel it. But you know that's harmful to yourself. I love you very much. And you are forgiven of all your sins. You know that, don't you? Yes. Yeah. You would like to be able to forgive this other person, wouldn't you? I thought I had. I mean, you would like for him to forgive himself and have others forgive him as well. It's not a him. I did not hear that. It's not a him. Yes, he needs a healing. But you are not to take on all his pain. That is not why you are there. However, because you have taken on his pain, you have alleviated it somewhat from him. So therefore, now you must release it to Mother Earth and give it away. And I don't know if that's going to be that easy for you because you have owned it for a while now, haven't you? No, it's time for me to... Move on. And I so it will... much want to move on. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, I could speak Why to you for a while. Why am I long. still here? Is the question. What is the question? Why am I still here? Oh, there are many reasons for that. There are many, many, many reasons for that. Do not question your validity. Because your validity is of the utmost importance. And that is one reason why you can't release this, is because you've not given yourself the validity that you deserve. You need to see yourself in that valid, beautiful white light. You need to see yourself for who you really are and not take on, and, and I, 
I, I say not take it on, but you've already taken it on, but not dwell in the other person's problems. You must find your perfection first. You must be who you are first. You must find your light first. You will never be able to extinguish this sorrow until you find yourself. And you have lost yourself in this sorrow. Mother Mary, she said, she said it's not a he, it's a she. Lord, it is fine, whoever, he or she. I'm just using words. But it is that you must find yourself. Because you are living someone else. And that is not who you are. You understand the situation. You understand why. You've accepted it even. Sometimes I feel, I, as I'm talking to you, you cannot fully accept it. You cannot fully accept it. And that is part of the reason it's still there. Because if you could fully accept it for what it is, then you can start to let it go through wisdom and understanding of who you are. Do you understand what I'm saying? There are portions of it you have not accepted. Does that make sense to you? I cannot hear anything. Yeah, we, we cannot hear her either. She's muted. I believe that I believe there are portions of this thing that she she's accepted and portions she has not. And she must accept it all because she doesn't understand it all. I think that she think, thinks she understands it, but she does not. And with this understanding will be will come a way to release it. Because it is not part of who she is as a person. And that is why she can release it. Do you understand that? Yes. Now, for many, people hold on. People hold on to these things. Why do they hold on to these things? Because it's, they feel if they let it go, they also let that person go. And that's not true. Okay. Thank you. Um, believe another member has a question. Sheer. Hello, Mother Mary. How are you? I am fine. Um, I'm from Israel, and for the last couple of months, there has been uh, many things going on. There might be a war on our way, and in the Father, it's a civil war, you can say. I was wondering if you have a message for. Israel and there is many prophecies about your land and your peoples and that area of the world they don't necessarily have to come true but it is what has been foreseen for many thousands of years that your people will not change their minds and not accept each other therefore when this happens there will be war when you cannot accept your brother in love as a neighbor. If you cannot accept their, that they have their own beliefs and it is all right for them to have their own beliefs, then there will be a problem. And there is nothing that I can do or nothing that you can do except for pray and let God handle the situation. But he lets man have free will and have their own ways. He does not come down and force their hands. But he does understand who they are. But they do not love anymore. They're taught how not to love. They're taught how to discriminate. And they are taught how to cast out a different belief. Nice. They cannot accept even the slightest variance from what they believe. And this is hardening like stone the soul. 
Okay. Do you see something in the year of 2016, something in Israel's yes, future? Yes, I see many things, but of course, many decisions have not been made yet, and I do not know if they will be made in a positive or a negative way. I, I have my beliefs, as you have your beliefs, and understandings of things, but I should not predict the future. That is not why I'm here. Okay. Thank you very much. Much love to you. Much love to you as well. And I think that I should be going after one more question. Okay. Um, one of the members asked a question. If um, she says um, the best prayer to use before channeling to raise your vibration. What is the best prayer? Yes. Just accept that God is with you. Accept his love. Accept his knowledge and wisdom and understanding. And keep yourself out of it so that you can give the greatest and strongest message to those that are listening that need the, the answers, that need the, the words, that need the encouragement. Keep an open heart to f pure love and not just the kind of love that will be give to some and not to all but give to all in a way that is expansive when I find myself in times of trouble Mother Mary comes to me Speaking words to wisdom, let it be, 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 shine until tomorrow, let it be. Thank you. Thank you. With Thank those you. words I will include. There is much more to be said on these things. The hearts are very heavy in some places. I, I look out and say, see these hearts and wonder if they can ever find themselves to be clear enough, to be loving enough to themselves to let these things go. But you must love yourself. It is important that you bring clarity to yourself. So you, you bring the love to yourself so that you may give it to others. Not accept others' pain, but to relieve others' pain. Do you understand? Your joy is more powerful than any darkness. Your love is more powerful than any negativity. Your brightness and who you are as a true person will spark others to want to be who they are as well. The joy of being who you are is part of what life is about. Do not deny yourself with camouflage and with different belief systems that don't ring true. But find yourself in a way that opens yourself up to sharing the energy that you were made of. The energy that shows that God is alive in you, but not in a stuffy way. Not in a limited way. Not in a judgmental way. Not in a hateful or punitive way. You must just be free to love. And when you are free to love yourself, what is wrong? Where do things you find wrong on the earth? You only find the positive and love and joy 
oh, certainly you see those things that are not good or negative. But do you become part of them? No. You send your love and your understanding to it as well. You connect with others that feel the same way you do and send your joy to those things that are not joyful. It is the way. And if it does not change, it does not change for a reason. But you, you, as an individual, are so important. I do not want to look at a group of people and not see individuals. I do not want to look at a group of people and see only one thought. I want to look at you, each and individually, and see a multitude of thought processes, joys and loves, and different, different self-expressions. And how can that be if you all fall into a one idea? Think about that. The many ideas form the one great puzzle of the universe. It is not of one thought. There is not just blue in the universe, or green, or yellow. But there are many, many millions of colors. And you are one of those shades that fits into the universe and makes a beautiful picture. But it is not that you are all alike, or all speak the same things. But you must be true to yourself, and true to that thing which is burning inside of you. And if there's nothing burning, that's fine. Just find who you are. And you know what? Your search for yourself is also a journey. And it will make you feel very alive. And then maybe, at some point, a fire will burn within you. Some will. But then won't, but it is to find yourself that is most important. And thank God for that, because he made you so different, so individual. There are things within you that are in, within no other person in the universe. Thank God for that. Blessings to you all. Peace to the earth at this time of trouble. Much love. Much love and thank you for coming, Mother Mary. Hello? Hi, Jim. Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you. How are you all doing? We're good. Good. Excellent. So, we will close with the prayer. Very good. Who would like to do that? I will do that today because I'm, I'm really feeling it. Good. Good. So Takiokokuakanaskiokorokolokotukaronaskiakiakiakotononononononokiakalaliakatantukorokotonalikiakaranaskiokorotonolikiakaranaskiokorotonolikiakaranaskiokorotonolikiakaranaskiokorotonolik
nari yokoro ataka, nari a kiukotua, nari a katuora naski, e yari a kata, noru asa, tolu koru kutu koru akari a kata, noru skuru akari ataka, nari ikari otosu, oru areya, nari ari 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 akwa, oru akara, tarari okotu nolu sku, turu uru ari aki, eri okoru asa, nari akaraka, karatu ukuru aka, na kia kia ka, oru akaraka ka. There are many things in the universe, some known, some unknown, some understood already and some misunderstood. There are many lights and brightnesses that some people call stars and moons and things that they cannot understand unless they know exactly what they are. There is only one you, however, and for you to understand all things is not possible. For you to bring the generations together is not possible. For you to understand the universe, not possible. But for you to shine your own light and to be yourself, most important. For you to be a bright light to yourself and to others, most important. You see, for together, all the small lights, as you consider yourselves, will run into a bright and beaming future that you cannot even look at because it will be like looking into a sun. Therefore, I hand to you your heart and do with it what you will. But you will understand that your heart is the beginning of great things. Namaste. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. No. Thank you, everybody. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close the chat. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for being part of our uh, first Saturday webinar of the year. See you all again okay. very, very soon. All righty.